Welcome to Indoor Cycling TV, the global community for indoor cycling and spinning. Now every week we feature badass studios and rock star spin instructors. You also get spin classes absolutely free. So hit the subscribe button to avoid missing the world's greatest studios and instructors. Don't forget to like and share. Now let's watch today's video. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Indoor Cycling Channel. Now if you are new here, don't go anywhere before you start hitting that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on anything that we have upcoming from this channel. Like today's fabulous interview with this week's guest, Brittany. Everyone, welcome Brittany. Hello. Look at how fabulous <laughs> she is. This is currently, what time is it for you? 7 a.m. here, Eastern time. Look at how radiant she is for that time <laughs> of the morning. Absolutely glowing. I am super excited to talk to you today. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with the basics of where do you offer indoor cycling? That's a great question. So um, I'm the founder of Brit Deets Fitness, and I offer both indoor cycling classes and also body strength classes, which are off the bike, and we're completely virtual. And I am based in upstate New York, but I have members who are from all over the state, all over the country, and even some international members. Fantastic. So was this something that was kind of birthed in the recent, uh, you know, need to go virtual or were you kind of already setting the trend <laughs> beforehand? I was not setting the trend. In fact, prior to this whole experience, I was like, oh, I am not into home workouts. I, I just can't work out at home. I love people and I love community and I have to be there in person. But really, um, that all completely changed. So I've been teaching spin classes now for nine years, but Brit Deeds Fitness is just over a year old since uh, the pandemic. It's one of the few positive things that actually came from the pandemic. And um, about two weeks into quarantine, we were all on lockdown, you know, and I was feeling really blue. I was not myself. I was missing my people, my classes, and um, my husband recognized that, and he was kind enough to make a um, sort of a makeshift studio in our living room, and he was like, let's start offering Zoom classes, so we rolled with that. I started offering free virtual classes and it just sort of like spread like wildfire. People on Facebook sharing with their family, their friends, word of mouth. Next thing I knew, like it exploded and I had like hundreds of people looking to get into my classes for free. That's so. amazing. <laughs> That's, so yeah. you're, currently, you're in your lounge currently. Is that your living room? Okay. So, um, once we realized like we were onto something here and people liked this and I saw, you know, in March and April and May 2020, all these people started buying bikes for their houses. And I was like, wait a minute, like now they have a bike, they're going to need classes long term. So my husband and my father father-in-law built me this fabulous home studio. I'm in my basement now. So we upgraded. We, we got our living room back. <laughs> oh, brownie points to the husband. Oh, get me one of yes. that then. Fabulous. It looks, yeah. it looks amazing. And I guess it makes all the difference because you. you emit that sort of class feeling with the lights and the, and the studio and the music, but you managed to do that online, which is very impressive. That's just it. It's amazing. And, um, now I love working out at home. I have completely had this transformation because I still get to see my people. Like my classes are live and I can see them and they can see me so I can interact with them just like I did in the studio. And um, it's an amazing time saver, you know? I can, some days I'll literally like throw in a load of laundry or empty the dishwasher and then I hustle downstairs <laughs> and I teach my class and it's like I love that no but that's always good and it's it's so great that you've adapted to to kind of what's needed do you think you're going to stick to this now then do you think this is here to stay hell yes absolutely yeah. I love it I love it Wow. And like you said, when people have invested in fitness equipment at home, which so many people have, that and these things aren't, you know, these aren't cheap. These are pricey investments. So it's so good that you're continuing to deliver yes. for, for kind of what they bought into and obviously in a well, fabulous way. And that's really like the cool thing. It's not just bikes that our members are buying. I'm seeing them upgrading their home gym, getting, you know, new dumbbell sets and kettlebells and boxes and 
and um, getting like big screen TVs to mount on the wall so that they can see me on a big screen and not just, you know, on their little <laughs> phone. phone like... or... yeah. yeah, so it's like, wow. it's really amazing. Yeah, yeah, that is so cool. And you are so set up uh, for the whole thing. So let's talk then, let's go down to what you actually offer. So oh, kind of what style of spin is your thing? Okay, so I teach my classes and I choreograph to the music. I spend a lot of time on my playlists and preparation. So my classes are very like high energy, beat driven. You're gonna see like dance moves. And um, I incorporate some like traditional spin moves into it. Like we'll always have our big heavy hills and we'll do jumps and we'll do our sprints. But there's a lot of, um, I, I include a lot of like creativity and my own style into classes as well. Fab. So let's touch then on how, how you've gotten here. You said you've been doing spin for nine years, was it? Yeah. That is a long time. So let's talk a little bit yeah. about your journey. How did you originally get into spin and, and fall in love with spin? Yeah. Um, well, I first started taking classes at, you know, a big box gym. And then from there, I started taking classes at more of like a boutique studio. And it wasn't long, you know, after I started at the boutique studio that I was approached and kind of recruited to start teaching classes there. So uh -huh. um, I got my certification and I went through the training program that they offered at the studio. And, you know, the rest is history. But I think like the best sort of training that I had and the best preparation to like become the spin instructor that I am today was just to like immerse myself in the spin world. I took so many classes with all different instructors at all different studios, all different styles. And that really helped me kind of like figure out who I wanted to be and the personality that I wanted to have and how I wanted to like run my classes. So um, that was honestly like the best education or training I had was just to like dive in. And, um, I, I, you know, early on when I started, I would go on a day trip to New York city and I would take like three spin classes in one day and then take the train back home just to like see what they were doing there. And wow. then I would, when we, when my husband and I go on vacation, we like plan our vacations, making sure that there's a spin studio nearby <laughs> so that I can like go check out what they're doing in, you know, North Carolina, Martha's Vineyard or wherever we are. So <laughs> That's amazing. And I guess that is a, a really great way to learn is it because you also learn what you don't want to do quite. Yes. Obviously when you have a spin thing, like when you're looking to you know get involved with your your clients and and what they're doing kind of what do you want them to leave your sessions feeling um that's a good question so i am all about it's i'm a feeling person i'm all about like how does this make you feel and i want everyone to walk away like feeling on a high you've heard people talk about a runner's high well i truly get like that spin high it's that endorphin rush where like you feel so full of energy so positive and you just want to like tackle the day and get after it. So I think um, a lot of people, you know, I teach class at 6 a.m. pretty much every day. And I think that's what pe that's what gets people <laughs> out of bed get in the get morning, out of you bed. know? Brittany's not giving you shortcuts. You are not sleeping <laughs> in. Wow. No, yeah, leave him with positive attitudes because that is, well, that's exercise, isn't it? That's endorphins. That's what you want to give off. And I'm loving the studio and the light. So I reckon people must come away feeling absolutely pumped. And you're a beam of sunshine. So like, <laughs> um, so let's talk then about the other elements of your fitness. So not only spin, you offer, you said sort of boot camp style workouts. How do they work? Yeah. So, um, you know, Throughout the week, I offer body strength and toning classes, and I have sort of different styles and formats that I teach depending on the day. So on Tuesdays, I tend to teach um, Tabata Tuesday, which is a style class that's very popular. Wednesdays tend to be like core and more, so we'll work those abs and other parts as well. Um, Fridays, we have like leg and booty day. Sundays is a full body workout. So um it's just a little bit of everything because as much as i love spin and i do i know the importance of getting in your strength and resistance training and i feel like they just pair together so well and even before i was teaching the body classes because i just started teaching the body classes since quarantine but i was always you know i've worked out my whole life i've taken so many classes that um 
it just came very naturally and it's something I enjoy. So it's nice to share it with other people. So do you have a qualification in, in that? Do you have like personal training? Have you got anything that goes alongside with it? I'm certified in group exercise, group fitness classes. So that kind of is a big umbrella and it fits right under that category. Nice, nice, fantastic. And how long have you been uh, certified for that? I actually got that certification nine years ago as well. So I've had it. <laughs> in your back pocket, waiting to whip it out. There you go. I like yeah. that. <laughs> so then let's talk about, so we talked about kind of the, the breakdown. Now let's talk about if you offer kind of any one-to-one -one coaching. Do you have like individual clients that will come to you? Any sort of nutrition programs? Kind of what else do you what else yeah. is in that back pocket? You got something <laughs> there. Um, I don't do any personal training at this time, although I'm not opposed to it necessarily. Um, you know, if the opportunity arises, then maybe I would take advantage of that. Maybe but, I'll um, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> but I do enjoy, um, I teach like specialty classes, like we'll have theme rides, like you know, maybe a particular artist or we'll have battle rides, like battling out one artist versus another or two different styles of music. Um, a big hit and something that I really love, um, I love being able to give back to the community. So sometimes I'll offer charity classes to help raise awareness and also donations for whatever the given charity is for that ride. It's we, I call it Cycle for a Cause. And um, so that's really nice. And... I've done some corporate classes, so teaching group. I, I really love the group exercise. So I'm not saying I wouldn't time. want a personal train, but like, thing. I love the people. Uh -huh. So Yeah, that's amazing. So kind of what is it about that communal feeling then? What is it about having a mix of a mix of everyone in front of you? Yeah, I think it's just um, feeling the energy, right? It's like you can feel feel the energy of other people. And I think we all feed off of that. We feed off one another. And um, I just love seeing like their faces and their expressions. And I love when I see them like working really hard, hustling through something. So it's just, it's hard to explain, but it's just, my community is really amazing. Like they are strong and they're passionate and they support one another and they're so welcoming. It's like anytime we get a new member or if someone's taking their first class, I'll like give them a shout out and I can see everyone on the Zoom screen, like whipping their towel, clapping, <laughs> like welcoming the new rider. And um, my, I have a Facebook group page, which is really how this whole thing evolved. And it's really an amazing community because my members have gotten to know each other. They've become friends. They engage. They have like their own little separate private group chats and everything. So like they, they really like hold each other accountable and support each other. And they're like the life of this whole business. So fantastic it sounds great it sounds like a fantastic community to be a part of um so let's then talk about kind of where you are then on social medias let's kind of track down all your little tags and your bits and how yeah. people can find you well i would love it if you gave me a follow on instagram so my instagram handle is britdeets.fitness and if you are interested in booking classes, you can go to viasession.com slash Brit Dietz Fitness. And also on Facebook, find me on Facebook. I've got an amazing group page. Like I mentioned, I'd love to connect with you personally and also add you to the group. Fab. Now let's talk about the scope then, because this is virtual. Is this open to anybody in the world who has an internet connection everybody oh, everyone but it's <laughs> wow. yes um i think we've had although most of our members are in the united states um i've had members from canada italy and i think finland right now is our is my member who's the furthest away so Fabulous. <laughs> well hey maybe after this interview it will just span the whole globe who knows growing, <laughs> growing fabulous so then let's talk about kind of your expertise as a spin coach in reflection to other people that may want to become one because spin is this huge craze i think every it's like people just get addicted they want to do more so what would your advice be to somebody if they love spin uh, yeah. and maybe was was kind of dipping their toe into becoming a, a trainer what yeah. what would you suggest what's a good route for them to take 
I guess um, I would say definitely like think about it. And I mean, a lot, we all love spin, right? But definitely like you have to be willing to push out of your comfort zone and get uncomfortable because it is scary. It is super scary at first, like when the spotlight is on you. And of course, my first classes were in person. So I'm like on the podium first time I'm wearing a microphone and it's like very nerve wracking. But um, I think like you have to accept that and just kind of grow through it and push through it. And you can't be there for yourself. Like you can't have an ego. Like it has to be about everyone else. And that's how I feel. Like that's why I show up every day. It's because like I know other people are counting on me and I want to just like pour into them. And I can see like the positive effect it has. Their confidence is growing. They feel better. So I just think like, it's not about you when you're teaching spin. You just got to be like all about everybody else. Yeah, so. amazing. That's that sounds fab. So then let's talk about your 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 clients and the people signing up. Let's talk about their first thirty day experience. Explain to them if they're going to sign up with you, what what they're into. What have they got <laughs> themselves into with you? Well, I've got to say, I really view like what I do, you know, um, teaching spin classes, teaching body strength classes, leading a healthy lifestyle, like having good nutrition, it is a lifestyle. So I would say, don't put a time frame on it, like 30 days. No, get it out of your head. Like, this is a journey. And like, if you want like the long term positive effects, like, you know, just take it slow, ease into it. I think, the first thing a, a new member will feel is like a sore butt, first of all, because <laughs> the Classic. saddle's a bit uncomfortable. After like three to five classes, that goes away. But after you get past that, you know, uncomfortable feeling from being on the seat, then it's just like you're going to start noticing the endorphin rush, like the good vibes, the better energy, improve sleep, improve mood. Um, I have one client who tells me that her husband and kids are like, they're like, mom, you're like a lot nicer. And you're like a nicer <laughs> wife when you take spin. Like you got to get on the bike, mom. I think. <laughs> so, mom, I think it's time for your spin lesson. Get off. Yes. <laughs> Don't you have a class? <laughs> but, um, you know, I think the uh, losing, losing weight, losing inches, that's all incredible. That's amazing. But I really like, really love to hear about the non-scale victories, you know, like the feeling how has this improved your quality of life and like we're in this for the long haul I want to be able to spin when I'm an old lady so <laughs> amazing well that leads me perfectly onto my next question I was going to say do you have like any sort of uh, uh client experiences that stick out in your mind as somebody who has kind of just taken to it you've seen like a really great progression or or like an emotional sort of turnover is do you can you think of somebody off the top of your head that you've experienced that with? That is, that's so, that's a tough question to answer because I could never just pick one member. You know, I have hundreds of members and I have heard so many amazing stories and transformations of people who like used to hate working out and would make every excuse not to work out. And now they like won't miss a day. They won't miss a class and stories of, um, you know, grandparents who have more energy to play with their children and people who have literally been able to like work through the loss of a loved one, you know, a parent, a spouse through getting physical activity and starting my classes and people who struggle with like mental health issues and spin as you know so like the list goes on and on it's not just like the physical benefits it's the mental emotional social so wow yeah. sounds great yeah you've obviously that this community sounds fabulous because it's so wide reaching and so different everybody's in different circumstances and to be able to come together for one sort of a a core value let's say which is spin and exercise is really it's really cool um yep. so i wish you pure growth and global annihilation domination of the whole universe <laughs> uh, so that's kind of taken us to the end you've absolutely breezed through this in fabulous fashion but Thank this you. is kind of where i want to open the floor to you to speak directly to the people um <laughs> to the people um it's yeah if you have anything that you want to say you know kind of kind of what inspires you and and kind of encourage people if they're sitting on the fence what would you yeah. say to people? I would say if you're sitting on the fence and you're watching on the sidelines and you're like, oh man, you know, like 
if something is drawing you, if you feel that pull to like get on the bike or start my body classes, but something is stopping you, maybe your own insecurities, like get over it, you know, just dive right in. Listen, we all got to, we all have to start somewhere, right? And be patient with yourself. Just dive in. I always tell people when you're first starting out, don't feel like you have to keep up with me. You know, like you're in the comfort and security and the safety of your own home. And if you want to turn off your camera, you turn off your camera. That's fine. You know what I mean? Just as long as you're pedaling and moving, movement is medicine and you're going to feel so much better. So, you know, over time, my members definitely feel their strength improving and then they start to surprise themselves. They'll start adding in dance moves on the bike you know it might not come at first but <laughs> just you know have fun with it don't take yourself too seriously and just get moving fabulous great advice and i can imagine that loads of people after this are going to come and be part of your community because it sounds fabulous thank you so much Brittany this is <laughs> absolutely fabulous um we've got all your handles all your tags but anybody who's listening will pop them below and we'll pop them in to make sure that you can get a hold of this fabulous lady and become part of her community um and that's <laughs> it thank you so much for a great interview good luck with everything I have no doubt you will go from strength to strength and then hey maybe in a year's time We'll tap back in. Your home studio's grown to like a whole place. You've got a whole yes. rocking down there. <laughs> Who knows what we'll find on the next time. But it's been That'd absolutely be lovely to talk to you. So thank you so much. You as well. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> Bye, darling. Goodbye. <laughs>